Hey guys, what is up? Zuray back at again with another video. Just wanted to start this video off with my cat because he decided he wanted to just be in the, the picture there. So, yeah, there you go. There's your five minutes of fame, kitty. But anyway, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and go down. Alright, so what is in front of the camera right now is an Arduino based nightlight. I don't need a night light, but it's cool. Um, what I'm going to do is the string of lights that is in the top left of the screen is going to be um, double-sided taped to the ceiling or the top of the wall right before it hits the ceiling, I guess you could say. And it's going to be pointing towards the other end of my room. And what it's going to do is there's two switches, um, one for either side of the bed, and just by hitting it, it's going to start a timer for two seconds. They come on full brightness, and then over the course of 15 minutes, they will dim down until they turn off. Every minute, it'll um, you it'll fade into the next uh, value, and it'll stay there for a minute and continue down the line until it's finally off. So here's a quick time lapse, and then I will get into how it works. All right, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to come back over to the whole picture. Can you move? Wow. You are a fat fuck. Get out of the way. Anyway, he doesn't need to be in this picture anymore. All right, so now I'm going to tell you how these switches are connected. I'm going to bring one up. As you can see, there's three wires coming off of it, and uh, there's actually just two components, just the switch and then a 1K resistor. You can see there's three wires. I color-coded them without, the, uh, without any other wire wrapped around it. That's uh, 5 volts going to the switch, and then you have the middle wire, which is uh, blue. That's the signal, so that goes to the Arduino's pin and reads whether it's a high or low, 
And then on the right, with the black wrapped around it, is the ground pin uh, that goes to ground on the Arduino. So if we actually like zoom into the Arduino, um, so let me get it. This fatty wasn't here, I'm trying to move him, but he doesn't even care. So as you can see, over here, there's the two switches with um, with a ground and then these the lights. Oops, this is the pin that controls the lights. Down here, this is um, 5 volts. I made it so these pins are always high, so it's always sending 5 volts to the two switches. Um, and over here is a transistor, and this is what uh, delivers power to the lights. And then I have a wall wart coming off this white wire, really, fatty? And um, that's 12 volts, and that's what is... Um, turning on the lights because the Arduino itself can't do it with five so that's that and all you really have to do is just hit a button and hit the button two seconds later it comes on stays on for 15 minutes or so and then uh, shuts off and what I'm gonna do is just hook um, stick it to the top over by the ceiling and it's gonna be awesome if you guys like this, I can show you more of the Arduino. Um, I also have other projects I'm working on with it. I have another one that's hooked up to an LCD with another button, and it counts the um, amount of times you push the button on the screen, and it tells you the status of an LED. I thought it was pretty cool. Going to get more of that. Hopefully for my birthday, I'm going to be getting um, a lot more Arduino stuff because this is what I'll be doing in my bachelor program. Also... I went to a 3D workshop today. It was pretty cool. Um, I'll be showing you more of that when I go print stuff. I can use a MakerBot Replicator 2 for free. And all I have to do is pay for my print, which it's $0.05 cents a gram. So usually it's around a dollar for, for me to print something. So that's pretty awesome. Just wanted to let you guys know that. And stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.